Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a remake on the Castbox Country 9000, and guess what? The Slumber Quiet died! Yay! So that's when I um, pulled out all of my stuff, and I actually converted it to variable speed. I got rid of the Slumber Quiet, so now it's variable speed as you can see. So yeah, here it is. I got this fan from Mr. Fergie, also known as Nolan. Um, I'll link his channel down and below so you can go subscribe to him. Um, I got this from Fanimation for $130 of the um, 2021. And yeah, it's one of my beautiful Casablancas. That is one of the rarest. This fan is from 1983, I'm pretty sure. There's the tag. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, this had a stencil blaze on it originally, but he gave me these. Still pretty nice if you ask me. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I guess we will go to low. And, um, since this control, well, you know, the variable speed control that I put in it, it has a trim pot, I got, um, pretty good low for this fan. So let's go to low. Why didn't stall out this time now that I'm making a video of you? Well, that's good. Sometimes it stalls out, but now that I'm recording, it's not. But yeah, here is the very lowest speed. And the good thing about this fan, now that it has a um, variable speed hooked up to it, I can now um, run this fan on medium without the slumber quiet dying, since this fan is no longer slumber quiet. So yeah, believe it or not, this fan goes faster now than when it had the slumber quiet board in it, which I am impressed about that. So yeah, here's low speed. I'll try to get a better well, like a slower well, but for now, it's fine. So, don't complain. Anyways, I guess we will go to like a medium speed. There's medium speed. It's amazing how I can actually run this on medium and it won't die! Yay! But uh, yeah. Since it's not variable speed, it can be a little noisy at some parts of like the speed control you set it at. But yeah, there's just a tiny little hum, but it's you can hardly hear it. But yeah, this probably has to be one of my favorite fans I got from Fanimation. And this fan did come complete. And believe it or not, when I got this fan, um, no one said that this fan, uh, the summer quiet worked um, partially because sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. And this fan was just uh, running on its um at speed that it usually runs on, but for some reason it just kept speeding up and speeding up, and then that's when it died out and it only worked on high. So that's when I converted it to variable speed. And it has the um, older down rods, which I think are pretty cool because you can see up uh, it is swirled. It's not the regular down rods, it's the pretty cool ones if you ask me. But yeah, I guess we can go to high speed now. So let's go. There we go. Go so much faster, even wobbles now, which surprised me. Because believe it or not, this fan went way slower before I replaced all the components and put brand new components in it. I just want to thank Thomas Aaron LaRoque for helping me out with doing this conversion. He's done it to several of his fans that had a dead slumber quiet. So. But yeah, I'm just so happy this fan finally works like it should. And oh, one thing that I forgot to mention that this is a, a special variable speed where it even has an off position because you know that's off, but 
The fan's not going off just yet. We're st still leaving it on high. And yes, I know a lot of people are going to be asking why didn't I mount a tank true? Well, because I was too lazy to take the mounting bracket down that was already there. And, uh, yeah, this thing's gonna go back out on display since there is nothing in its spot. So, yeah. Because this variable speed I put in it is special, I could either, like I say, turn the fan off just like this. But yeah, I'm just gonna shut off and I'm just turn the control back to the lowest setting. But yeah, guess we'll do spin down now. And I know I did a video of it. It had a K4S on it, but I took that off and put its original switch cap back on because this fan did not come with the K4S. I was the one who put the K4S on. So, yeah. And Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. See y'all later. Goodbye.